Good evening stream. Hopefully this is on and now I'm on as well. Hello! Um, and I... The stream is going to blow up when that timer reaches zero. Yeah, I was going to turn the timer off. Oh, it's beat me to it. There we go. Never mind. Um, anyway, hello uh, stream. It's nice to be here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, for what promises to be hopefully uh, an interesting evening of... Um, maybe learning some new stuff, um, maybe revising some stuff that you already know, um, maybe it's just to watch me make the next, uh, my, my next module. Um, whatever it is that you're, you're here for, thank you very much for tuning in, um, it's very much appreciated. Now the idea of the stream is um, to sort of create a, a, a sort of a framework for anyone who's never done any modding, never done any um, uh, coding and never used Unity before to give them a framework to give them a bit of a, a leg up into getting started in the in the Catane modding world. Um, I first started modding for Catane. It was about a year ago actually when I first got an idea, um, and I spent about two months or I spent about a few weeks building a prefab, and then um, didn't do anything with it because I didn't know anything about C sharp, and it wasn't until. Um, it was turn of the new year actually, it was a couple of months after I built the prefab that um, I sort of reached out on Discord and um, uh, Ash the Bash actually um, came up, I think he's watching tonight, he won't mind me, so I'm sure, um, gave me a, a couple of pointers um, on how to how to get started in C Sharp. Because here's the thing I, I found, there are some really really good tutorials on YouTube, particularly SL series on um, modding for Catane and getting set up on that. It's a really good series for how to get hold of Unity, get hold of the mod kit, implement it and get it all set up. But there wasn't really much there if you didn't speak C Sharp, um, which I know for a lot of people is uh, a barrier to, to entry. There might be some great ideas, but no idea how to implement them. Um, speaking to a few people, they've actually said the barrier for them, they know a little bit of coding, but the barrier for them was actually getting into Unity and working with the mod kit and having selectables and so on set up. So the plan for this evening is to give you, is to sort of show you how to set up a, a module from scratch. And I'm hoping that some of you might be uh, sort of playing along at home, if you like. Um, there's, a, there's a few links in the description if you wanted to go and have a look at those. Um, that would be uh, probably quite a sensible thing to do and get those downloaded. You need a copy of Unity. You'll need a, uh, a script writer of some sort, Notepad++ or Visual Studio. I'm going to be using Atom tonight because I'm going to be coding on Mac. Um, and you will also need the latest version of the mod kit. And there's also a little asset bundle with a few custom assets in there, which you'll probably find really, really useful. Um, and I'm going to make a little bit of use of as we as we, we go on through through the evening. So it's going to be quite a long stream because there's quite a lot to get through. And there is a lot to take in. So if if you sort of start modding along with me and then you find that you're, you're getting stuck, don't worry, this will all be on VOD and it will all be on, on YouTube as well, so you'll be able to go back. Um, but I'm hoping that I'm going to explain it in a way that is that is quite clear as someone who is relatively recent to the modding world. Um, I, I understand what that those barriers can be. So um, I'm hoping I'm going to explain it in a way that you can understand and you can really get started with making your own modules. So. Um, I might have a break at some point halfway through, just a short break. Um, I might, I might not. I might, might just go go through. But if I do, I'll be be sure to let you know. Okay. So the very first thing you're going to need to do um, is uh, make sure you've got all that that software that I've mentioned before. Now, what I think is a very sensible thing to do is to set up your your prefab, your standard prefab, before actually going into modding it and, and changing it and making it unique. Um, by which I mean you sort of want a master template that you can have so that if you're going to make more than one mod you can just copy the master template and you've done all the all the legwork or the numpty work that goes on at the beginning. I'm going to start out by showing you how to do that numpty work at the beginning which is slightly uninteresting um, but does need to be done. So we're going to start off um, actually I need to make sure I've got the screens on the right place so uh, background and display. There we go. We're going to start off by creating a new Unity file. Um, what I'm just going to show you briefly is in my documents folder over here, contain mods. Um, this is, these are all my, my mods here. And you'll see I've got here master template. Now I've already created that. 
um, and that's my um, that's my current go-to master template. The temptation was to actually restart it again from scratch, but I'm going to stick with that one there. Um, but I am going to show you exactly what to do to create create something like that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is boot up Unity. So I'm going to go down here and go Unity. In-home streaming is available. It's good to know. <clears throat> so here's a list of all the my, my recently accessed um, mods and, and projects and stuff. So, but we're going to go new because we've got nothing. We've done nothing before, so we want to start with a brand new project. So we hit new. This is going to take a little while because um, my computer is slow when it has many many things open, as it does today. Okay. This is going to give you a readout of where to save it to. Um, for me, I just stick it in my, my Documents folder, which is just my, my username, Documents Contain Mods. Uh, and that's where I'm going to put this one as well. You probably want to call it Master Template or something like that, or Template or, or Master Copy or Original or something like that. Um, I'm going to call this Master Template 2 because I've already got one in there called Master Template and I want to be able to set it aside. So Master Template 2, make sure you've got 3D set and your Unity Analytics are on and you're going to hit create project. If you need to sign into Unity at this point, you can get a free account and you can use Unity for free. Uh, that's no problem at all. So we hit create project. Now Unity is going to do its thing where it's going to get all the, the custom files, all the basic files into place. There's a red wine this evening. Okay, so we have our Unity project. Where do we go? Where do we start? So what you probably want to do, there's a few things that are on here that you don't want. So first of all, the services you can get rid of that. Right click and hit close tab because we're not going to use that. You can resize all of these windows um, to whatever you want. I like to have my, my scene. This is called the scene. There's a lot of vocab you're going to pick up by the way tonight um, if you don't know already. Uh, this panel over here where it says untitled, this is called the hierarchy. Now, this is very important later on. We'll come to that in a little while. Uh, down here you've got your, your project folder but all of these can pretty much be tucked to the side. The inspector, this is where you change the details of stuff that's going on here. So let's get the very, very basic set. You saw in there, I've got um, all of this stuff and I'm gonna to come to this in a minute, but I don't need that just yet. Before I even get there, I need to set up some basics. So hit your main camera. You should have a main camera there by default and you need to change the position of the camera. This is because when you bring the, the, the mod kit um, into it and you're using the, the component, it's set up in a very particular way and you need to set the camera up as such. So you're gonna set your Y axis to 0.2, your Z axis, which is a standard uh, uh, default to negative 10, set that to zero, and then come down to the X axis on rotation and change it to 90. So I'll just leave that up here for you. So it's your, uh, in, the, in the transform over here in the inspector, set your X to zero, your Y to 0 0.2, your Z to zero, and your X rotation to 90. Leave the rest as it is. That gets your camera into the right place, ready to start modding. Come down here next to, <coughs> excuse me, clipping panes. Clipping panes is uh, basically how far the camera sees. You wanna set that to the minimum. So hit that to, to zero, the far is a thousand doesn't really make much difference for the numbers that we're talking about here. Um, and that's it. That's all you need to worry about in setting up the camera. Nice and simple, nice and straightforward. Next thing we're going to do is something that I don't fully understand myself, but I understand it's good practice to do it. If you go up to the top and hit the edit button, we're going to change some of the project settings over. So you come down to project settings and then come down to editor right here. And by the way, what I should have said is feel free to ask any questions in the chat. I have got the chat running um, on the side on my phone at the same time. So if you've got any questions or you get stuck at any point, please do throw your questions in my general direction. So we hit editor and we want to make sure that the version control, the mode, your meta files are visible. Mine is already set like that as default, um, but just double check that that is like that. Okay, once you've done that, that is the main Unity setup. Everything from here on out is going to be to do with the mod kit. So what we're going to do is save the scene. I use Command S. You might you want to use Control S and get used to pressing Control S, Command S quite a lot because you want to get into the habit of saving regularly, especially when you're starting to get into stuff where you might accidentally write a loop and it freezes the program and you can lose all your work if you haven't saved it. So you hit Control S. It's going to automatically save this into the Assets folder, which is exactly where you want it. And 
I generally just call this the same name as the uh, uh, the folder I put in. So I'm just going to call this template. This is the Unity file. It's going to be saved, and there it gets popped right into the asset bundle down there. Now, what I've just clicked onto here is the console. This is where it tells you if you've got errors or not. There are some errors that come as standard where you get lots of things like this. I say standard. This is one where I don't quite understand what this means, but it's never actually caused too much of a problem. So I tend to hit clear and then we're fine. Uh, River, why do metafiles need to put this? Well, yes, I'm not sure actually on, on that one. It's just a, a habit that I've uh, been been sort of picked up because that was how I was told to do it. I'm not sure what conceivable difference it makes to the mod, um, but it's a, it's a habit that I um, I tend to, to follow on from. Um, and again, something I should have said at the beginning, a lot of this, particularly when we get to the coding, a lot of this will be preference, and a lot of this will be stuff that I've gotten into the, the habit of doing, which might not be the most efficient way of writing code, and it might not be the most efficient or effective way of doing other stuff that you're going to be doing. Um, what you'll find very quickly is that there are there are good habits, there are bad habits, um, and there are things that are preferential. Um, hopefully I won't show you too many bad habits, um, but you, you'll get to see a bit of the stuff that is preferential. So I know there are um, active coders who are in the stream. If you see me doing something uh, that you wouldn't normally do, uh, feel free to comment on it and, and, and offer suggestions, which I may, I may or may not take. Um, but there's, uh, you'll find very quickly with coding, there is more than one way to skin a cat. If a dress as well as teaching a classroom, not quite porky. If I was dressed as well as teaching a classroom, A, I wouldn't be wearing jeans or slippers, which I currently am, and B, I'd probably be wearing a tie. But I was going to wear my Unity t-shirt, but uh, it's uh, as happy as a former teacher. Me too, as well, Panda, as a former teacher. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do, uh, and this is um, not complicated, but it's easy to get wrong. So you're going to go to the file that you've just created, the folder, the directory, I suppose you could call it, um, master template 2, in this case right here. And you'll see that's where all our files are. And all of the files that we're going to use inside Unity are kept in this folder called Assets. Now the Assets is the stuff that Unity is going to need in order to do its stuff. Everything, that, Anything that's outside of the Assets folder, Unity can't necessarily recognise. It needs to be inside this Assets folder. So the first thing we're going to bring in is this contain mod kit. I'm hoping you've downloaded this and you're all ready to go. You will notice that the contain mod kit has um, already got an assets folder there. So what is probably going to happen is that actually we're going to lose this template and we're going to have to save it again, which is fine. Because what we're going to do is select all of these, assets, license, manual, project settings, readme, steam, and go control C, go over to the inside of our master template and paste. Now it's going to ask you do you want to overwrite? You absolutely do. If Unity crashes now it's because I've deleted the uh, scene that I've, I've just saved. So um, I don't mind. No, I'm just, we'll see what happens. Paste it in. It's going to ask you do you want to replace the assets folder? You want to replace it, you don't want to merge it or keep both I think is the option on Windows. So you want to go replace and then the same again there, replace. That's going to copy everything over. Maybe I should have pressed merge. It's probably going to crash Unity now, but we're going to go back in, and if it's been successful, it's going to import everything. Good, that seems to be working. It's going to take a little minute. I also wouldn't be drinking wine if I was teaching a classroom. has to be said. So what this is doing now, it's currently compiling the mod kit, bringing the mod kit into your project so that all of the elements of it are going to be there and ready to use. And there you go, you see, it's saved everything and brought everything in as we need it. Um, now I've got a shader warning there, which we don't particularly need to worry about, so we can get rid of that, and we go back. Now, I'm, in a minute, I'm going to need to save the scene again. In fact, I'm going to do that now. And it's, you see, it's just rewritten it back into there. So that's great. While we're doing it, I think it's makes a lot of sense to just bring everything in at once. So I've got this folder, this custom assets. This was the little bundle that um, was on my Dropbox account. If you want to bring that in, you can go Control C, and this time you're going to drop it inside the assets folder, not inside the template folder, but inside the assets folder. It's going to go Control V, and it's going to bring that in. And finally, materials. There's just a few materials that I've got there. Control C, and again, inside the assets folder, is going to be there. We're going to come back into Unity and it's going to import all of those in for us. So 
so bringing those materials in is just going to save us a little bit of time later on once everything is there and there we go you might notice if you're being super observant that I've actually got one extra file there called template script now this is um, the script that I use as the start point if I'm modding contain um, and I'm gonna this is the only thing that I've done that I've pre-prepared pre-prepared ahead of you but instead of me just giving you that script, I'm going to rewrite that script when we get there and show you exactly what everything means as we go on.